Hello, anyone and everyone, I am Echo, and today we're exploring Fallout 3 because I have just a little bit of an update video to do for you guys about uh, my channel and stuff that's been going on. Um, and I figured what better game to, to do that over in the background than Fallout 3 since it's, you know, been such a big part of my channel for such a long time. And, uh, you know, there's always stuff to come back and do in Fallout 3, so I uh, searched around a little bit, found a area that was one that I actually knew about. It's over here, where's the world map? It's over here, it's an unmarked area, and it's nicknamed the Plunger Room uh, online, and we'll see why when we go inside, we'll check that out in a minute. Um, but for those of you who aren't interested in watching a short little bit of gameplay with an update thing over it, let me give you the, uh, short version, I suppose, of what is going on. Essentially, uh, my channel is going to have to go on a small hiatus of sorts. I'm not going to completely stop uploading videos, but, uh, I cannot guarantee videos every day like I've been doing for the last year or so since I started getting into a schedule of doing a regular amount of them every week. Um, for example, this week, uh, not including this video you're watching right now, but throughout the week, there's only going to be three videos uploaded, and I don't know how many more videos are going to be uploaded the week after or the week after that, or for the foreseeable future, the next you know, few weeks or months or whatever. I'm not sure how long it's going to last, but point is, for a little while, there might be less videos, um, but don't worry, my channel is not disappearing and I'm not stopping this uh, unless I die or something else happens that just completely takes all my time away. But uh, yeah, that's the, the short of it. So for those of you interested in more details and to see what's in here, you can just uh, keep watching. Um, and speaking of details, there's actually a huge camp. Oh, there's still a... I didn't even notice he's still alive. There's still a uh, super mutant overlord over there. That big ugly mother fudger. Standing around the campfire. Yeah, there's a huge super mutant camp over there. And there were some brotherhood uh, outcasts over there. And as soon as I came up to this area, some enclave went and did a little airdrop right down on top of the bridge and dumped a robot and two of these dudes down. And they started fighting the super mutants and everything. And unfortunately... I wasn't about to, you know, waste my time having all that happen while I'm trying to just do an update video. This isn't, uh, this isn't gonna be considered an episode of the, the now over playthrough, so, you know, yeah, all that and everything like such as. But, uh, this area over here, the plunger room here, let me equip a little bit of a better weapon, uh, basically, it's, uh... Well, I guess we're going to see. I was about to say something else, but I forgot. I forgot what it is. Hey, big statue of a dude missing his nose. I wonder why he's missing his nose. It probably got knocked off. Hey, it's a ghoul. Hey, it's a dead ghoul. Okay. What is in here, huh? Skulls. A ghoul. Like I said a second ago, a dead ghoul. And... Plungers! Plungers aplenty! Yeah, and handprints on the walls, and it goes all the way up to the ceiling. Didn't get past the light fixture, though, it seems. Seems it ended right there. That's the last handprint. Huh. So if you want plungers, come to this place. For some reason. This place is a uh, is mention is is on quite a few lists of like creepiest areas in Fallout 3. It seems somewhat mundane to me, except for of course the handprints and the plungers all over the place. Um, and uh, is there supposed to be a note or something to say what happened or an audio thingy, majiggy, riggy, doodah day? I don't know. I guess not. I, I'm the uh, the general story of this area. 
Oh, and I remembered what I wanted to say earlier when I was when I was walking in. Yeah, this is actually an area that I've known about for a long time, but I've never come and seen myself until just now. And it was actually one that I meant to uh, visit during the actual playthrough. But unfortunately, I kind of forgot about it, and I also didn't know where it was. And it's not so easy to just suddenly, you know, open the map and travel to some place that you've never been to and you don't know where it is when it's not marked on the map. So I would have had to have looked it up, and obviously I can't do that in the middle of an episode, so I had to look it up beforehand, before starting all this crap. Anyway. Um. Yeah, that's it. I guess the general story of this area, at least what I've read online, is that it's supposed to imply that a guy got stuck down here and he went slowly crazy and collected plungers and got blood all over the walls and then tried to climb up onto the... I guess tried to climb up onto these metal beams here. Unfortunately, we cannot join him. Or can we? No, no, we can't jump high enough to get up onto there. Kind of surprised we could even get up onto that, though. That's pretty big. But anyway, so... With that aside, this is just meant to be uh, something to look at while I talk. But I didn't think it, the room would be this small and have no note or anything to talk about. So I guess I should go ahead and do something else, huh? Alright. Well then, anyway. So, the point, the whole reason about the hiatus thingamajiggy that I'm doing... Basically, is because... Oh. You. You don't need to keep living. So yeah. Basically, the gist of it is that uh, lately I've just not had the time to consistently record videos. Um kind of hard to go into detail about it without making this video way longer than I want it to be, and also, you know, I don't really feel like revealing unnecessary details about my real life, since that's not really uh, a fun topic to talk about. Real life stuff is boring, and I want my channel to be fun and entertaining and all that. And I'd have a hard time doing that if I was talking about a lot of personal business. So anyway, basically, suffice to say, well, for one thing, uh, I have been, unfortunately, having to take on longer hours at work, um, simply because of uh, differences with the schedule of the other people who work there in my position. Some of them have been taking less hours, and I think one guy actually quit or something. I'm not sure exactly. It's all sort of confusing, and I don't really ask about it. All I know is that every week I get my schedule, and I do the hours I'm told, and uh, lately I've been doing a lot more hours than normal. And uh, on top of that, though, uh, that's kind of a minor issue, but the bigger one really is that uh, just family stuff has been happening. Lots of issues have been going on with my family. I know I'm being horribly, stupidly vague about it, but, uh, you know, like I said, the details would be boring and kind of personal stuff or whatever, but suffice to say, my family, you know, needs my help with stuff every once in a while, and so, you know, if I'm constantly trying to make videos, as I like to do, then I wouldn't have the free time to help them and things like that. And unfortunately, that's basically been the gist of it. You know, a few extra hours at work here or there. And family troubles just getting in the way of things. Nothing serious, no deaths in the family or anything like that. Just sort of normal everyday stuff. There's just been a lot more of it than usual. And so unfortunately, that means I've had less time. Also, uh, in particular, one thing that's not happened yet but is going to be happening is that in a few weeks, probably, like, between three and five weeks, we'll say, um, so 
relatively soon, but not immediately, I am actually going to be moving to a different house. Um, and, as you can imagine, moving requires, you know, moving all my stuff over there, and getting set up, and having to move my computer at some point, and getting it set up, and everything like that. And so, again, that's going to be more time spent on other stuff, and, you know, again, perhaps conflicting with the schedule that I would normally record videos on. And, you know, unfortunately, as much as I like doing the videos, they have to take second, uh, you know, second place to everything else, because other things just happen to be more important according to typical definitions of what important is. There you go. They were mad Brahmin, so it's good that I put them down. And it's becoming nighttime, so unfortunately I, I think I'm going to have to wrap this video up, because otherwise my character will be stuck out here in the middle of the night. You know, i got to get them home. It's late. they gotta they got to sleep. Let me look at my notes, though, real quick, in case there's anything I'm forgetting to talk about. Um, no, there's not. <laughs> yeah, I'm really professional. Can you tell I do stuff like this all the time? Can you tell... You can tell, can't you? Yeah, I'm really used to talking about things constantly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that, that's that's the gist of it. And I hope you all understand. Hope you all can uh, bear with me while I go through this short little period of, uh, you know, a speed bump. A speed bump on the creative nature of my channel and stuff. So, you know... Yeah, and hopefully within the next few weeks, everything will be back to normal, and this will have been a bit of a waste of time to even make the video, because nobody will probably even notice. So yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye bye